I'm 86 years old now, and today, and especially today, when I was watching her poke, and I felt, I really, really believed the first time I trusted, I trusted, fully I trusted someone. And I, with my whole heart and soul, I really believe he is my Pope. So I prayed for them as we're listening there today and saying to my friends and the ones that are, I love, we found it, we're here. I hear where we witness it. Now, my friends, my love, you now can rest in peace and thank God. And I always thank God for this wonderful opportunity. So many of us have suffered so much. But you know what? We are strong people. We are strong. We are Métis. And we were taught, we were taught how to love, to respect, and to honor. And that was our destiny. And that today, I sit proudly, and I say to my prayers and to my friends that are long time gone, but I know they're hearing me, and they know my heart is just full. I believe a lot of people in our communities have waited a long time for this. And there's certainly probably many different feelings out there, because what I've learned during all my years as a president of the Métis Nation, everyone needs to have their own time to deal with situations like this. And I'm very, very pleased that there are people like Angie who see it as another step forward in order to make sure that our children, our grandchildren, our future generations will be able to live better and be freer of what has gone on in the past.